Hello, and welcome to Our Devotions, where together we're developing lives with God at the center. I'm Pastor Daniel, and this is my amazing wife, Amanda. Hello. Today we're going to be talking about getting back to the basics. We're starting off in the book of Hebrews, chapter 6. six. I almost said 5. <laughs> so grab your Bible and get ready to dive right in with us. Chapter 6 starts out, says, Therefore, let us leave the elementary doctrine of Christ and go on to maturity, not laying again the foundation of... And then it lists six things. And it's... Foundations are so important. It's so easy to crumble something that doesn't have a foundation. To tip something over if it's not well grounded. Yep. And so... These are things that should be cemented in all of our lives because he's going, hey, this is, this is foundational. And he goes and says, repentance from dead works, faith toward God, instructions about washings or baptisms, laying out of hands, the resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgment. And I wanted to take just a moment and look at these. And I, I know that I can't do a very in-depth study on six different topics inside of six minutes. That's just not going to work. I think I've done <laughs> entire messages on all of these. But just looking going, it starts out and goes, we need to understand repentance. Yeah. Repentance, uh, it literally means a change of mind. Yeah. It's not just going, I'm sorry. Hey, I, I said, I'm sorry. I'm just, no, it, yeah. it's literally changing your mind and going, no, that's not okay. That's not who I'm going to be. That's not who I'm going to live. I'm going to follow God's direction. And sometimes we, we quickly get a hatred for our sin. Yeah. And sometimes we go, God, I have a love for you. And so I need to walk away from that. Yeah. And sometimes it's out of, you know, the distaste for that. And sometimes it's going, it's just because of my love for you, God, I'm going to pursue you. And so that means that this is wrong. And out of fear of you, out of a love for you, then that's got to go. Yeah. And, and we rep- Turning from these things is, way it put, as the first of these foundational things. And then it goes through and says, faith in God. In Hebrews 11, verse 6, it says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. Yeah. We must believe that he is and that he is a diligent rewarder of those who seek him. Yeah. And I think that's so crazy that he goes, what do you need to know? You need to know that I want to reward you. Yeah. <laughs> like when he goes, he goes, what marks me? And like, he could have written anything there. And for it to be like, you didn't know that I exist. Well, well yeah, that, that, that makes sense. <laughs> and then I reward. And you're like, really? That's like the next most important thing. It's like, it's not, you need to know that I exist and that I am all powerful and that I have, like the things that I would have listed would have been like <laughs> this massive list of how cool and how powerful and all the things that he's capable of and, and that he's holy and, and he's like, you need to know that I exist, and you need to know that I want to reward. I'm like, yeah, man, you're good. Like, yeah, that's so cool. And, and like that, that starts it even in, in Romans chapter ten when it talks about being saved. It says, uh, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart, yeah, that God raised him from the dead. Like, this is fundamental. Like, you do not get saved without this. Yeah. And so we go through and we're like, all right, we need to have repentance. We need to have faith in God. Baptisms is plural. Uh, And recognizing there is water baptism, and then there is baptism in the Holy Spirit, and there is whole messages and series of messages there. (laughs) So I'm not going to dive deep into it, but in Matthew 3, verse 11, it says, I baptize you with water for repentance. But he was coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I'm not worthy to carry, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Yeah. And as we look and we're just kind of going, these are some of these, these landmarks and these foundations of, of being a believer. We need to recognize that this is something that God has for us. Laying on of hands it is the next one. And that is something uh, that's huge, that's important. And I've got we're all the different ways that it's used throughout the New Testament, but we want to recognize that laying hands on people, that praying for people, that blessing yeah. people, that seeing the sick healed, seeing people filled with the Holy Spirit, seeing people commissioned and uh, an impartation is is foundational to what we believe. And 
it should be part of our lives and part of our walk with Jesus. Yep. Um, and then repentance, or sorry, the resurrection of the dead and eternal judgment are two that people like to skip out on. Because <laughs> it sounds so scary, eternal <laughs> judgment. <laughs> it does. And we have a very me now focused culture. Yeah. And so when we look at this, um, Hebrews chapter uh, 9, verse 28, over and over again, it says that he's coming back. Yep. In Matthew 25, verse 31, it says, And when the Son of Man comes into the glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his throne, and then it lists this, what this is going to be like. And there's a lot of Christians who want to have arguments about, is he going to come before the tribulation, during the tribulation, after the tribulation? Is he going to come in a mixture of these? Is, and, and there's all these theories. What we need to understand is he's coming. Yep. Are you ready? Yeah. Is your neighbor ready? Are your children ready? Who have you told? And, and getting ourselves ready. And it goes, uh, I think I have down here somewhere, Paul lays this out. He says, um, I fought the good fight. I finished the race. I've kept the faith. And he goes, there's a crown laid up for me of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appealing, appearing. Yeah. Are we looking forward to it? Are we, are we ready? Have we fixed our eyes there? And that's just, that's supposed to be basics, 101. Yeah. You know, as we go through this. And this idea of eternal judgment is, when we look at eternity and recognize there's both a heaven and a hell, yeah. is not popular. <laughs> I think the last yeah. uh, generation, really, has seen a departure from a solid belief in an eternal hell. And there's this, well, I don't like it, so I don't want to believe in it. Yeah. And there's this, well, love wins. And you go, love was poured out, but Jesus is the one who told us the most about hell. He's yeah. the one who said that we have to choose carefully because wide is the way and broad is the way that leads to destruction. Yeah. And when we begin to, to look at this and recognize that eternal punishment, in fact, Matthew 25, where we just were at a minute ago, goes on and says, there are those, these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. Mm -hmm. There is a heaven to be gained and a hell to be avoided. Jesus came for a reason, because there was something that we needed saved from, because he wants a relationship with us. These are foundations of our faith that we need to, to lay hold of. And I want to encourage you to lay hold of them. I want to encourage you in your walk. And if there's yeah. areas of this that you have questions, to dive into God's word, to ask. Uh, come Sunday, ask a pastor. We would love to help you and show you what God has to say about these foundational things that should mark all of us. Yeah, so good. We have our confession, so repeat these out loud after me, okay? I am loved by God. I am loved by God. My words are powerful. My words are powerful. And will bring healing and life. And will bring healing and life. I use my words to partner with God. I use my words to partner with God. I am quick to listen. I am quick to listen. Slow to speak. Slow to speak. And slow to become angry. And slow to become angry. I am a light to the world. I am a light to the world. Shining with God's love and grace. Shining with God's love and grace. I don't have a spirit of fear. I don't have a spirit of fear. But of power, love, and a sound mind. But of power, love, and a sound mind. I take every thought captive. Captive. I take every thought captive and make them obey God. And make them obey God. I encourage others. I encourage others. And build them up. And build them up. I do everything. I do everything. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. God, we thank you that we could have a solid foundation on you. That you would give us a revelation of who you are, of your great goodness, God. That we would be full of repentance, God. That yes. we would be full of your Holy Spirit, that we would follow you in baptism, God, that we would see your word confirmed with signs and wonders as we reach out and lay hands on the sick, that we would see them recover, God, that we would hide eternity in our hearts, that we would recognize it, that we would look forward to it, and that we would let it affect our daily lives today. And God, that we would see your kingdom come and your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We hope that this encouraged you today. If it did, please take a minute to hit like, share, and subscribe. And we want to invite you into God's Word to discover who He is and all He has for you. Be blessed. We'll see you again.